So if I'm telling you the truth, I've never seen this matchup before. Uh, yeah. uh, I will say though, based on my understanding of Ness's matchups in general, it becomes really bad for the Pokemon trainer once he has to use Charizard to recover. And more importantly, when he gets back to the stage, he's a heavy, he's a large character against Ness. That's never a good thing to be in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't. He doesn't have super armor on his up B. It's just uh, if he touches your body, he hits for he hits you, and I don't think you can. It's very difficult to beat it out or trade it unless you have a big disjoint to hit it with. It, Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Now I see there's a juggle. Si And even beyond that, he can just kind of hang on the ledge until he's ready to go up. Yeah. Um, but, and if he's already at the ledge, he can just get up attack and hit Ness through his down smash charge. Unfortunately, it is looking like fire is super effective against water right now. Not water, grass. And now he's Charizard. Oh no, oh no. Yeah, very unfortunate when you have to go Charizard against an S. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, he just kind of swings his tail and. It's a huge... Yeah, it's a sweet spot on the fire part. Ooh, and he's switching over to Gorin. Not a character you see very often anymore. Uh, like just about every Gorin I know of has switched to another character. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think a uh, core encounter was nerfed pretty bad in the transition from Smash 4 to Ultimate. Like, I don't think it kills nearly when it killed before. But, ooh, back air definitely wasn't nerfed, I will say that much. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that core encounter probably isn't that dangerous to no, Ness, just because, just because it doesn't kill until like really late and it sends him straight up, which is great for Ned letting uh, Ness recover. But it does give him a little bit of extra damage. I'd say the big thing Corrin can do is just run off and back air, just stick his wings into him. 
Or or just try to pin him as he's about to grab the ledge. But at the timing on that is always good. Yeah, that it's something you'd have to practice and there aren't that many Ness players out there. So it, it can that, be difficult. So far this is shaping up to be a much better match. Yeah. Yeah, like there's never a situation where Corrin has to expand, so. Yeah. So you're seeing both of them are throwing out a lot of hitboxes right now. Like they just really want to hit each other. Ooh. But he's still at kill percent. Ugh. So you're seeing that Silver's relying a lot on his aerials. Which. Yeah. Or just in Smash Ultimate in general, aerials are really good. It, it makes sense to throw out a lot of aerials. But I think we're seeing uh, Flytrap's using his ground game a lot more than Silver is. Yeah. And, uh. Silver's mostly using his ground game to use projectiles and the occasional pin. And he's mostly relying on aerials. Which is fair, Corrin has very good aerials. Yeah. But so is Net. And the same goes for Ness, and yet he's using ground a lot more. Granted, he's also better at spamming projectiles, so. Ness projectiles for the Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you get it, that's a free combo starter, uh, depending on the character you're fighting. And it is um, pretty difficult to punish at long range. And then, like, at the. Ooh, nice combo. Ooh. Man. Being in the air against Ness, PK Thunder. Oh, wow, that. <sighs> wow. Um. I know that Ness mains really missed their drifting aerial up smash, but 